Hey, welcome to another session of ASMR with Lar. Uh, today I'm going to be cooking for you a rolled up asparagus chicken with some spicy mustard sauce on top. Uh, I have all of my ingredients laid out right here. So you can see we have just a couple of basic ingredients, so it uh, shouldn't take too much uh, extra shopping to be able to cook this delicious and mostly healthy meal. Uh, I have the staple of some extra virgin olive oil. We also have some salt and pepper. I have some breadcrumbs right here. Of course, we have our spicy brown mustard, our mayonnaise. We have some chicken breasts right here. And then we have our asparagus, some Swiss cheese, some cooking spray, and some minced garlic because I like to make my asparagus sauteed in a little bit of garlic to get things started. Uh, so I'm going to take you through step by step how I make this dish and I'm also going to put uh, the full ingredient list and all of the uh, steps of the recipe in my description down below uh, so that you can have that on hand as you see me cooking in real time. I hope that you enjoy. Alright, so first I'm going to start by preheating the oven to 475 so that it'll be ready for our dish. And then I'm going to get started on getting our asparagus ready. As I said before, I'm going to bring a little bit of our virgin olive oil. And I'm going to just put it into our little pan right here. olive oil here in our pan. And then we'll add in some of our garlic. Personally, I always like the minced garlic, but you can use fresh garlic as well. medium for right now. And then I'm going to take our asparagus and I'm just going to lightly rinse it in the sink. Just a nice light rinse here for our asparagus. First, I'm going to trim the ends off of the asparagus. It's all bound up still, which will be good to toss it out. Okay. And then I'm going to cut the rest of these stalks roughly in half. Careful that they don't roll away too much on you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Beautiful. And our garlic is getting nice and warm. I'm actually going to turn it around just a bit here. I want to get to the nice and brown point with our garlic and then I'm going to go ahead and add in our asparagus while our uh, oven here is still preheating. And then I'm going to work on cutting up our chicken and preparing the sauce that's going to go over top of the chicken to really complete our dish here. So we can go ahead and take this off. 
And again, just be careful that none of them fly away from you. It's been known to happen, especially in my own experience. All right, and the rest of these we can actually toss right on out. Just Starting to sizzle. I'm going to turn it up just a smidge. garlic. It's my favorite. Garlic or garlic with onions together. Two favorites. a nice sizzle going down and it's starting to brown. So I think I'm actually going to turn the temperature down just a bit because we're going to want this to cook for roughly 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, if you want it to be softer, the asparagus, I recommend uh, closer to the 10 minute mark. Uh, but if you want it to be a little bit more crunchy and firm, closer to the 5 minute mark. But I don't want it to spray and splatter everywhere, so I'm turning the heat down. And the garlic is starting to brown, so I'm going to gently start to put some of these asparagus stalks in. olive oil, just on top of it. down a little bit. And I'm going to let this saute. I might tend to it here and there just to mix it up. But I'll let it lightly saute for about the next 5 to 10 minutes. And in that meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get our chicken and our uh, sauce all ready. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yes. So about 5 to 10 more minutes of this. Just lightly sauteing here. Our asparagus is cooking along nicely. I can see it's starting to get a little bit tender now. So just a few more minutes and then we'll be able to wrap the chicken with the asparagus and set it on into the oven to bake. All right, so while our asparagus is sauteing nicely, I'm going to go ahead and make our honey and spicy brown mustard sauce. Now, recipes typically call for a certain measuring amounts. Um, I typically don't do that, so I'm just going to eyeball it with our sauces here. And I'm going to start with our mayo. Looks like a pretty decent 
little base for our sauce here. Probably around a cup and a half or so. Or I'm sorry, I mean a half a cup. And then I'm going to add the accent of the spicy brown mustard. And our oven is ready. That should be probably a good amount. I might do a little more because I particularly like a little bit of extra spice and flavor added right on in. And then lastly, I just do a little bit of pepper mixed in. Just some basic black pepper. And finally, some of our salt. And I'm very picky with my salt. Um, I don't like it to be too salty, so I do always just pour a little bit into my hand. And that's actually a little bit much for me, or what I typically like, but I think it'll be good in this recipe. Okay. And I'll mix this up nicely. And again, if you're going to be using more of the actual uh, chicken breast, um, going to be making a bit more of it, then you may want to just make a little bit more sauce, so just gauge that accordingly. Alright, now I'm going to tend to our asparagus for just a moment and um, saute it around, mix it up just a bit. Alright, so now we do have our asparagus. It's just about ready. We've also been able to make our delicious sauce. So lastly what we're going to do is just cut up the chicken. We're going to want to cut this up, actually have it, and then we're going to want to put on the breadcrumbs, some cheese, and then we'll add on the asparagus and some of the sauce. All right. So here we get started on our chicken. So let's start by opening this up. But always be careful in handling raw meats. So we have two breasts right here. And the first thing that I like to do is to trim some of this right off as well. Okay. And discard. So if it just pulls right off, which is nice. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of this area that we do not want to eat from this side of the chicken. That way we're not taking away too much of the breasts. And now I'm actually going to do, rather than a butterfly, I'm going to just fully cut right through the breasts. So that in the end we will have four separate items in our dish. So now we have those two breasts right there. Let's just inspect this piece. I have a little bit here I want to cut off as well. Just like to get that part out of there. Our asparagus is looking great in the meantime. This is going to be timed, I think, just perfectly, which is great. There we go. Perfect. And now we'll cut this breast in half as well. Cutting 
everything very nicely and always be careful as you cut, especially when I'm working with a very sharp knife like I am. And now we have our four breast slices. And what I'm going to do first, before I apply any of our other toppings, is go ahead, I'm going to wash my hands, uh, since I've been touching the raw meat. Then I'm going to just sprinkle some breadcrumbs along top, along with some of our slices, and then finally our asparagus and our seasoning. So I'm going to wash my hands real quick. And now that my hands are clean again, I'm going to touch my breadcrumbs and bread the other side of our chicken breasts. Once again, just a nice light sprinkling here. I don't like to overdo it on my breading. I don't want to take away from the overall flavoring of the sauce that we've created here today. But it does add a little bit of extra texture, which is nice. So I think that looks perfect. And then we're finally going to add some of our Swiss cheese slices. And how much I use per breast just depends on the size of the breast. Mm, I love the smell of Swiss cheese. One of my favorites. So, take this bit right here. And then lay it on the chicken breast like that. That way you get some cheese along the entire breast without overwhelming the chicken and overall flavoring of the dish with too much cheese. I would never typically say there's such a thing as too much cheese, but again, we don't want to retract from the flavor of the delicious sauce that we've made. So I'll put some of that there and then and it'll melt nicely to coat the entire chicken, especially because we're going to roll it all up. So cheese right there. And to be honest, I think that's a perfect amount. And then I'm actually going to take some of our sauce and dribble it along the cheese just a bit, because we're going to have some on the inside of the chicken and some on the outside of the chicken as well. That's how I like it, at least. Okay. That way you get the flavor all throughout, no matter the bite. don't want to put too much on the inside because a lot of that will of course dribble out as we uh, put our asparagus in and then roll it up, which now I think we are at a good time to add in some of our asparagus. Please remember to be careful. The asparagus has been cooking now for quite some time and we want to make sure that we do not burn ourselves. So we'll bring the asparagus nice and close right here. And I've been letting it cool so it's actually just lukewarm to the touch. You can usually take about five or six pieces, uh, depending on the size of your breast. And I'll just put it right on the inside here. And I will roll our chicken up nicely. Again, some of the cheese and sauce may dribble out a bit, and that is fine. I'll take a few more slices here. Beautiful. Oh, this smells so good already. I can't wait to eat some. And typically I'll change up the shape that I put the chicken in just so that it can all fit nicely as well. And I'll take a few more pieces right here. Very good. So yummy. It's one of my favorite dishes and has been a favorite of those who I've cooked it for as well. Okay, and then I'll do a couple more. Our last breast right here. Very good. We'll get that nice roll up. And again, place 
mix it nicely into our dish. Now, as you can see, we do have a surplus of asparagus, so I'll typically take that and I will drench it. Or, I'm sorry, I will drape it just all throughout the dish so that there's a little bit more. First, I am going to wash my hands real quickly. going to go ahead and just take the rest of this asparagus here and scatter it in between and amongst the breasts. It'll be a nice little accent on our actual plates. Oh, I love asparagus. It's one of my favorites. So scatter it, scatter it in between the breast, but then also along the outside of the dish. Good. So it's all thrown out here. Some on the inside of the chicken, of course, and then some just to be on our plates freely. It'll all bake very, very nicely. of this sauce here and I'm going to want to dribble it on top of our chicken breast before we throw it all into the oven to cook. It's going to bake for approximately 40 minutes and then your dish will be ready to eat. I'm going to dribble a little bit on top here. Make sure they each get a decent amount. Make sure I use every drop of this sauce because it is so flavorful and really brings this entire dish together. Very tasty. All right, so our dish is all ready to go in. So I'm just gonna take some mitts just to be a little bit extra careful. And we're going to put our chicken dish in at 475 for about 40 minutes. I've noticed that's about uh, the length of time that this oven particularly needs to cook a chicken breast. So we're ready to head on in. Perfect. And we'll set our timer. Our cook time is going to be 40 minutes. Hit start. And we're good to go. And that's all that it takes to make this delicious meal. In the meantime, as I wait, I am going to enjoy a nice little glass of some red wine. This is Menage a Trois Midnight. It is a dark red blend from California. We'll see you when the dinner's ready. All right, so our meal is all done cooking. So we're just gonna go ahead, cut into it, and make sure it is ready to go. Oh, that looks perfect. No pink, it still looks nice and moist. So this dish is ready to go. Bon appetit. 